diversify, diversify, and keep diversifying. So I figured I'd make a quick video just to remind everyone the importance of diversification in your investment portfolios. Obviously, if you're an investor and you only invest in index funds, mutual funds, ETFs, etc., you're relying on that particular investment to be already diversified. Maybe not necessarily across sectors, but um, you know, into companies, 50 or so companies. But when you invest in individual stocks, which is what I do and a lot of other people do as well, you have to do your own diversification. So what that means is you're choosing obviously more than just a few individual stocks. You have to look at the companies across multiple sectors, across multiple industries within those sectors. And why? Why do we do that? It's so one company cannot hurt us. If one company gets, gets hit bad, it just won't matter because it, it's such a small portion of your entire portfolio that, yeah, it sucks, but your life goes on because all of those other individual stock holdings will keep you above water. Unless, obviously, you know, half your damn portfolio takes a shit, which is probably impossible, then, you know, you'd be, you'd be screwed either way in that case. So the reason I'm making this video is Kraft Heinz stock, you know, Kraft Company, Heinz Ketchup, all that fun stuff, Kraft Mac and Cheese, they're a huge ass company. And they're, you know, they're one of those companies that people invest in, especially for dividends. Huge market cap over the past five years, they've also been increasing their dividend, which was, you know, it's a great sign. And, you know, you look at the product, it just, it's not going anywhere. It's just people, people need it, people buy it. But then yesterday, you know, news comes about that the SEC is investigating, uh, I guess, their accounting policies. So that's not good. And sure enough, their fourth quarter, you know, 2018 report was not too great as well. And it turns out they have to cut their dividend. Their dividend was uh, 0.625 a quarter, and now it's going to be 0.4 a quarter, so 62 cents to 40 cents a quarter. That sucks. So if you were relying on that on as part of your dividend income portfolio, that's a massive hit. Um, yes, the capital went down about 20%, but if you're a dividend investor, you don't really, you know, that's not the hard part. The rough part is that dividend, your part of your, you know, a portion of your income is gonna drop by 36%. So all those other increases that you may have gotten that that all happened here, sorry. That you may have gotten from your other stocks, it may not have mattered as much anymore, you know, because you get a five percent, you get a ten percent, you get, you know, typically nothing substantial. These increases are just now destroyed by your uh, 36 percent uh, drop. So obviously, you know, again, that is the reason why you diversify. So long story short, um, Kraft Heinz was one of those companies that everyone thought is untouchable. It's one of those companies where they're fine, you know, they're not going anywhere. But obviously you can get you can get news like this on any any company. You can get a dividend cut from any company. You don't know. The dividend is not guaranteed. So hopefully the people that own Kraft Heinz stock are diversified and they're not hurting as bad today. The stock, like I said, the stock dropped 20% yesterday. I think the news came out late, so who knows what's gonna happen today. I mean, they already said they cut their dividend, so the dividend, uh, people that invest for the dividend are gonna be probably 
trying to get out, you know, as soon as possible, because, again, that's a huge hit, but the moral of the story and the point of this short video is just to remind yourself you need to diversify, um, and what I'm doing, or what I'm trying to have done before the end of this year is not have one individual stock holding be greater than 5% of my portfolio. So I'd like to make, you know, the major holdings I have 5% at most. And the smaller holdings that I'm not as fond of be 1% at lowest. So right now I have 34 holdings. I just added McDonald's. So I have 34 holdings. And, you know, some are higher than 5% right now. But I'm, you know, this is kind of a wake-up call to me and hopefully everyone else that really need to diversify across sectors, across industries in the sectors. Uh, you can't be real, too reliant, too comfortable in one company. It doesn't matter how long they've been around, how big a market, you know, how big a company is, how huge their market cap is, how many years they increase their dividend. You know, it's it's a gamble. We're we're risking. We're risking our money. That's a reminder. You know, it's a risk. I'm sure Kraft Heinz will come back. Um, Although we're talking about selling some products, who knows? Like I said, I'm sure they'll come back, so I wouldn't say it's a buying opportunity right now, but maybe soon, soon enough. I don't know. I'm not messing with it right now. Let me know uh, what you guys think, but uh, again, just a reminder, you should be diversifying if you're an individual stockholder, even if you invest in ETFs. Diversify across ETFs because they're all different. So, all right, anyway almost time to go to work. Have fun. Happy investing.